Every day that I elevate, <laughs> it's a slap to the face of my haters. In a land where they kill a great, I pray to God to stay dangerous. <laughs> From A to B, don't play with me. In us we trust. <laughs> In a land where they kill a great, I pray to God to stay dangerous. What up? Hey, what up, though? <laughs> How you doing? Go what just, what's happening? What the business is? What's going on? Man, staying dangerous. <laughs> I don't know. I, look, I, look, we back to the old classic. Okay, I see. I you see. know, an oldie but a goodie. <laughs> oh. oh. How you been? I'm been good. I'm sitting here. Mm. Ooh. That look like a good old cookout quesadilla. Uh, oldie but a goodie. Look. Oldie but a goodie. Look, I'm back to the oldie but the goodies too. Look, I'm I'm drinking Ciroc again. I'm, I figure, look, the way this whole Diddy shit about to play out, I need to drink as much of this shit as possible right now. You could possibly buy Ciroc and be. No, because I'm, I'm thinking like this. This is my mindset. Mm -hmm. If you knew... That that was the last time you could bounce to the remix of Ignition safely in public. How hard would you have bounced? Bounce. It bounce, would have been a bounce, whole. Bounce, bounce. Hell, even in the stepping in the name of love, I would have been. Imagine if when you was watching TV one, you knew that was the last time you was going to catch the Cosby show. Hmm. So that's why I'm like, let me sip as much Ciroc as I possibly can right now. We 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 not look because I new developments are coming in every day with this Diddy shit. One we don't bring TV one around here. Okay, first. <laughs> further. Okay, but continue. Okay. Look, they Jaden Smith has now added himself to the list of of alleged Diddy victims. He he said that Will and Jada that sold him to Diddy. <laughs> they gave him the Diddy. They said <laughs> I, uh, that's not a hard. Not to believe type exactly. of thing. Like, mm -hmm. So look, drink up, folks. Get you some Ciroc. And get you, have one before the, while the getting is good. Cause <laughs> I got, I got, I got two crates of this shit in the, in the garage. You know right what? Now, you could probably buy a whole bunch of it. But you know, I wonder if they're gonna do it. Okay, so look, I wonder if they're gonna do it like they did Cosby. Cause I don't know for you who don't know. I love buying vinyl albums, okay? Mm -hmm. When I start going vinyl shopping with Cosby, all his stuff was free. The himself was, album? Any Cosby comedy album? Absolutely free. And something said, I said, you know what? One place I went, I'm like, maybe that's just a, a little wild fluke. Maybe I'm tripping. Next little vinyl shop, free album. Matter of fact, oh, they gave. Hold on, let me. Every vinyl shop was giving away Cosby shit. Cosby shit is completely free. Just give me one second. Hold on. Now I'm not going to even stunt. You kind of had me at free. <laughs> because, again, I love vinyl albums. Now, this one, this is my daughter's, but that ain't mine. But, hold on. Now, this is, for those who don't know, freaking classic. Ooh. It's, it's out a little bit, but yeah, you got to put it up close, yeah. Little Millie Jackson. Mm -hmm. Back to the shit. Hold on. Let, I humble her so y'all can really never give a damn. So yes, Millie Jackson. Back to the shit. On the toilet. On the toilet. Panties around the ankles. Absolutely That's free. Oh, wow. Absolutely free. I might have to borrow that. I might have to get out a quick little listen. I'll return oh, it safely. I will return it safely. Like, look. 
between that. I was just like, well, I'm not supporting supporting him. So technically, I didn't pay for it. So. I I didn't. So does it make it better that this particular bottle of Ciroc was free? Yes, it does. Okay, so see, we're winning. See, you're not supporting the negativity if the shit was free. You just, yeah, uh, mm -mm. you just, you just, you just, you just taking advantage of a good deal, sweet deal. And that's the best information we can give you today. The okay. most valuable information on the most valuable podcast. I see my business. Look, I have been drinking tonight. Oh. Look, me too, big. I've been sitting here. I was, I'm not going to get into where my mindset has been as of late, but I was sitting here drinking this damn Ciroc. I had me a little Taylor Port. You and that Taylor Port, I can't. Look, first of all, you want to get liquored up real fast. I don't you, want to get liquored up. You want to do too much drinking? That's a good way to do it. Two cups of Taylor Port, and you in there. Mm -mm. Yeah. That sounds like a, a stomach ulcer, like waiting to happen. I can't do that. You got to mix it with a little salsa, a little, little bubble. Who is doing all that? I'm Dude, get a little club soda, pour a little bit of club soda, a little bit of, mm -hmm. and then let that, let that fizz. And it's a spritzer. That's a ghetto ass spritzer. Mm hmm. I, I never said it was high class. Look, most situations are born of necessity. Okay. Look, I'm I look. I should know about high class. I'm eating cookout right now. Look, first of all, it don't get no higher class than that. I and I I've always said that cookout arguably has some of the best chicken nuggets in the game. Okay. And then when you've been drinking, they have everything's right. It's gore. It's filet mignon. You've been drinking. I do the chicken three ways on, on a cookout tray. If y'all haven't been to the cookout, uh, they give you a tray and they yeah. give you a main and then two uh, two side options. So, yeah. so a lot of times I do the chicken tenders with a chicken wrap with some chicken nuggets. Chicken three ways. Cookout. Arguably has to be one place that I continue to go with the worst service. Like, I stood at the window for five minutes. And I had three people saying, hey, she looking mad. Y'all need to go ahead and get her. I'm not going to even lie to you. The last, okay, I was at cookout, what, maybe... Maybe a week or two ago, mm -hmm. right? It was late night shit. It was after the club, after the after the, the comedy club, after the funny bone. And I pulled them in and you know how you, you order whatever you think you want. You're like, you know what? Matter of fact, change that. I, I want to do something different. Mm -hmm. I, I did that at the window. You know, that's mm -mm. It is what it is. Oh, yeah. No, the nigga said, he looked at me. He said, hey, yo, my man, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you know what? I I I don't even want this food no more. It was two steps from putting his fingers on your lips, like yeah. He like, don't <laughs> don't do that, my man. Don't don't do that. that Chicken was... orders, don't do that. And then I looked at him. I was a little nervous because I was like, do I want this food now? But then he was like, he 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 clarified his meaning because he was like, hey yo, no, I, I no disrespect, big dog, but. Mm. It's mad Mexicans working back here, yo. They gonna mess your shit up. Don't do that. <laughs> At least he was real. At least he kept it funky with me. He kept look. Mm -hmm. Look, I ain't gonna even stunt. I was at a Popeyes the other day, and you know how you just be you gotta piss real bad. So I stopped mm -hmm. to go to the bathroom, and I'm like, yeah, they gonna have a bathroom in this Popeyes. It's in a nice area. I get in this Popeye's nice area, the neighborhood, you know, one of them cool neighborhoods where you're like, okay, this is, I go in there. It's like 
four of the hoodest white boys I've ever seen in my life. Like earrings, gold teeth with the yo, shorty, da, 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 da. like and what in the eight mile? Like <laughs> I was I was intrigued, but I wasn't mad. I was like, yo. And 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 in a, and in a sixth sense, like it's, it's something weird in me. I trusted that chicken. I believe that that chicken was I booming. That, I yeah. believe that I didn't get a piece because you know I've been trying to lay off the fast foods, but I, I would have tried that. I'm I, look. I'm going to go back. My past and I possibly would have tried that. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back yeah. when I got a taste for some some, some fried chicken. I'm yeah. gonna go back to this Popeyes because I believe it's like. The one white boy, he looked like white boy Rick. I don't know if you know about white boy Rick with yes. the used to sell dope. I'm like, is that is that Rick back there selling chicken now? Selling chicken and, and dope? Look. Cool ass white boy selling chicken and he sitting there right. talking to shorty. The the white boy had on black Air Force Ones. Damn, he breaking the houses. That's crazy. Black Air Force Ones on a white boy. I was conflicted. He breaking the houses. His baby mama, he, one of his elite, two of his baby mamas is black. He got child support issues with them black. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, 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 and you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep it real with you. I have a respect for white boys who wear fake jewelry. Like, I could tell that that earring was from the kiosk in the mall. That was from the center of the mall. That wasn't at no no jewelry store. But that, he, that means he speaks the language. He understands. My problem with a white boy like that is he might say nigga accidentally, but it, it you see, this so is Michael what me up. Yeah, it, no, this is what fucked me up about it, because it's never cool to do white boys, but y'all be fucking me up when you use it in the right context. When it's in the perfect context, it's not racist. It's yeah, it's not racist. You know what I mean? This nigga always talking that dumb shit about it, and I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> When it sits right, you like. All right, that that nigga is dumb though. That dumb nigga was. How you know that? How you, you know? You, how you, to you, you call that pretty tight, my man. You you was on point with that. It be, it be so good that you be like. Hold on, he's white. He's definitely white. He it's definitely definitely. Right white, but but. Look, that's my, those are the bit of adventures I was on this week, man. This is why I've been happy I've been laying off the fast food because my adventures like that in fast food are getting too risque. It I was, is. Look, I I miss the simple days when you used to just have a couple homegirls in high school that worked at the Burger King, threw some Whoppers in the bags for the homies. That, yes. Those mine was years. Jack in the Box. Now, mine. Never been to a Jack in the Box. I've never been to a Jack in the Crack. Nope. I, I, I've, I've been on the East Coast mostly. And then when I did go out to the West Coast, um, I went to Roscoe's. I went no. to, I've never been to, I've never been to Jack in the Box. I, you know what? When I just recently did Colorado, there was a Jack in the Box down the street from the hotel. But I was in Colorado, so they gave me a lot of good weed. So I was high, and I didn't feel like leaving the hotel room. So I just ended up ordering some Uber Eats, but I didn't even order the Jack in the Box. It was another deal at Freddy's with the mm, custard. Freddy's is, yeah, it was a deal. So I don't like Freddy's. I, I don't like it either. It, it, it tore my stomach the fuck up. I, I definitely will say that. I mean all, let's be honest. All fast food gonna tear your stomach up. No, My but this was stomach. this was serious. This was like I hadn't had beef already for like three months, and then I had a Freddy steak burger with the with the yeah. damn concrete. And the, you know the concrete already. Oh. <laughs> you can't do that non dairy. That is a straight. Oh, that's a that's a dairy bomb. That's a dairy atomic bomb. Because <laughs> I was in the, I was in the, I was in my hotel room like. Whew. You know, it wasn't even like I was, I was, you know, there's the, there's the, the, the bubble guts where, where, you know, it's outward, you really doing damage, but then there's the bubble guts where no gas is being released. It's just cranking your stomach. It's, it's just cranking, just cranking, it's like, ah, <laughs> and yeah. you just sitting there like, 
you just praying it stop. I'm sitting there trying to smoke the feeling away. I'm like, maybe if I hit this weed harder, it'll, it'll turn it down. That's not what happens. Nope. nope. It, it literally. As a matter of fact, I remember that shit because it's that, like that night I went to, um, I did a show. I did a show at the improv mm -hmm. and a dude kept interrupting my fucking set and I had to, that's when I started getting like very bold with cutting people to fuck off. Like, hey, shut the fuck up. I'm working up here. Oh, damn. <laughs> I, I actually put a clip up of it where I was like, hey, shut the fuck up. The weed, I, you you smoking the weed you smoking ain't good enough because you're still talking. Mm -mm. <laughs> that's, I have not been that bold yet. Well, no. And my open mics has been like. I was about I, to say, um, you, I seen you go off. I was at the open mic with you. I've you, had a few. I've had. You I've put had some people, people. I've seen you lay some people to waste at your open mic. I, Got out of pocket. Okay, never mind. Okay, I was about to say, I, 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 you going you gonna to tell me? Mm, I just haven't had it recorded. How about that? Go. There you go. You haven't had it. Captured for posterity. Yeah, no. Uh, Man, look. Oh, a lot of people want me to do, like, the only thing is, I don't like recording live on open mics because people are working on stuff. Yeah. So I don't do that. Like, that's all there's, thing. There's etiquettes to those type of things. I've been talking a lot about etiquettes lately because, you know, I'm, I'm like, I'm really big on etiquettes lately because at where I'm at in this in this journey that I'm on, I got I got people who keep asking me, yo, how do you get there? How do you do this? What 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 helped you get, you know, how do I talk to these people here? And I'll be telling them, a lot of it is etiquette. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? A lot of it is is club etiquette, mannerisms, like everything. Like I had a I had a show uh, a, a while back where everyone who was in the green room aside me stiff the waitress they didn't tip the waitress at all and it's like those same people will turn around and be like yo how do i get in the club well you treat the staff good the staff is going to tell that's where the management how you know what your set was like because management ain't looking at your set management don't give a fuck they're running the club they're doing numbers they're making sure the liquor's good in the back that's all they care about. And that's all they care about. That's all they care about. Yeah. Now, if the staff comes to them who's actually moving around in the showroom during the show, watching the show, and they tell you, hey, no, that guy, he's very funny, and he's so nice, he's easy to work with, he wasn't a dickhead in the green room, he wasn't he wasn't too demanding, he wasn't, you know, ass-grabbing the girls, he wasn't doing, yeah. like... like one Cosby in them, yeah. Yeah, it ain't even Cosby. Like, some of these niggas just be... Be be and and I hate to say this because you know Big Vino always provides a safe space to objectify hoes. You know what I'm saying? But you can't be a pig. Like you know what I'm saying? It's a way you do. Like it's cool to have your your energy and you know let 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 people know this is where you stand. You know you're a man and you have you have a a sexual appetite and all that shit. But it's a way you do it, bro. You got right. to. You can't everything I, I I and I hate to say it like this because I, I feel like sometimes it makes me sound like a simp, but have some discipline to your sexual appetites, bro. And like how you up like come at all women. Like I don't even be thinking about women until I think about women. I don't know. <laughs> I, I did not even tell you about this. And I feel like you were in my like you were there tonight and you literally hit something that I literally dealt with tonight and I was just like so you know okay of course doing the open mic I control the music and all that stuff and the bartender me and the bartender at Haymaker are like this like he 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 checks my vibes he knows my fake smile he knows my fake laugh he knows everything okay he is my work husband if I had a work husband okay guy is trying to talk to me and he's like yeah 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 I'll buy shots. You know, the bartender, he fucks with me. I'm buying shots. First of all, sir, I'm doing a mic here. I can have him pour shots whenever he feels like stopping. 
if he chooses to. So he he's he's playing this whole big willy type shit, and I hate that shit. Then we go into the whole thing about conversation about like how old he is versus me. So he's like, oh well, let me see, let me see your ID, and I'm like, okay, well, let me see your ID. So we had this conversation, and I'm holding my ID, of course, ladies. Look, you're not gonna see my picture, you're not gonna see my address, you're not gonna see anything. But I was shocked you even pulled that. I was like, what the fuck, my ID, nigga. You was it would look quick, quick, because I love to prove how old I am because I, the way I do, uh, but. When he did it, he was real aggressive, like rapey type. And I just was like. <sighs> so I, I go to bartender. I said, hey, say, what you doing over here? And the guys at the other side of the bar, I'm like, where are you going? And he goes away from you. And like, this is how like it, it kind of gave that aggressiveness where it was just unnecessary aggressiveness. And I don't I feel like if you got to do all that. It's over. It's so of course I control the music. So the first song I cue in was Glorilla F and F. <laughs> and then the bartender goes, if she got a cue up music, she's letting you know. And Glorilla goes, but nigga free. Like I just mm. I was like. And he was like, ah, oh, okay, well, fuck, you know what I'm saying? I'm like. No, it just gave aggressive and gosh, I, if you really this close to getting the draws, you ain't gotta be aggressive. You gotta be cool, laid back. Cause damn, they gotta act like you don't want it. it damn, they get you a lot it. further and a lot deeper. You know, you know how many times I didn't, I didn't, I didn't play possum on the pussy. I. I, I go in the bedroom and motherfucking lay right down next to him like <laughs> act like I'm sleeping. Just be sleep or the possum on the pussy. Just... Possum on the pussy. Next thing you know, it's, it's rubbing across your nose. She like, wake up. Wake. It's like smelling so wake up, you know. You like it's the possum on the pussy. Oh, yeah, I play possum on the pussy. You got to act like you 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 ain't even thinking about it. I'm 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 dead, baby. I'm tired. Look, maybe in the morning. Give me a couple hours. I mean... I'm not saying I'm against that method or that idea. But I prefer that versus like, I mean, he just, I it gave like, if I furthered this conversation, I would have been a Lifetime series movie. And y'all have been like, oh my God, what happened to that girl that used to do the, uh, <laughs> she used yeah, to be hit you with the sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> you, know, you, do. <laughs> you know I keep my cup tight though. Like I had my Victoria State and I, I was like this. I was the whole time. You had it and with this? You had it with this? Hold on, wait. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> this right and I had the straw in it tonight. So I was people keep asking me where I get this from too. And I keep pointing them to the website, yo. So I hope I hope y'all been checking in and, and getting your merch, man. Look, shout out Victoria things. said it. Shout out, shout out the bakery. Shout out comedic therapy.xyd. Shameless plug time. I'm sorry, y'all. You know, I got the I gotta plug everything. We we outside. Y'all know I ain't got no problem. I look. There we go. Oh, bakery. Oh, bakery. Shout out the bakery on the fresh swag. It's on a wig. Hold on, wait. <laughs> We gonna take it. There you go. There you go. Hey. There you go. There you go. Let you know she works on a wig. And bow. So. So. Uh. I gotta wear my shirt to go with this because I really I look I look like real. Bow. You look like you look like <laughs> you look like you on the run from the cops and you're trying to. With the Hawaiian <laughs> shirt though. With the Hawaiian shirt look. <laughs> <laughs> you like you just robbed the bank and you're on, you're on the run across country just trying to get to your daughter. <laughs> you know Better yet, lifetime movie. I kidnapped my own daughter to get away from my baby daddy. So we, <laughs> if we can is... just make it to Alaska, we can get across the border. <laughs> this is it right here. Yo, no. oh my goodness. Hold on, wait. Let's see how this. Okay. Oh, look. But yes, we just got to get to the border, mom. Just head down. Don't look at the cameras. But what? I love my little bakery. That was my little. 
Look, man, shout out to the bakery. Thank you for providing such beautiful swag. Yeah. Y'all been having me looking fly, Chris, man. I got some fresh shit. I'm a, I've am been, you know what the, the worst part about when you get fresh drip? Mm. It's, it should be, you be, you be trying to have a perfect occasion to wear it. I don't like my glasses to be dirty. Sorry, yo. Are you good? Yeah. Motherfucking, you, you be, it's like that first day of school syndrome when you laying your outfit out. You'd be like, all right, where am I? Like, I picked this shirt. I'd be like, where am I going to wear this shirt? No, it's it's a whole vibe because I already have, like, the shirt that I have, the hat, and, like, I have, like, the shorts as, I think, oh, okay, never mind. I got the whole outfit. When I wear my bakery, like, all my gear, y'all going to be, y'all going to be jealous. Wear it next week. We might do an on, on location joint next week. Yeah. We might do some more location. We get some some more bakery swag up in the building. Go mm-hmm. do some shit, fucking. Cause I'm I'm uh next week starts my massive road trip. I'm gonna probably be on the road like forty days, forty of the next sixty days. That's fire. Mm. Yeah, that's why I'm getting a little bit of rest at home now and just taking my time. Cause I'd have been out tonight doing something, but I'm like. Let's let's get comfy in your own bed for a second, cause you're not gonna see this shit. Like, and it'd be so real, cause this is the road trip where I'm gonna I'm gonna do all I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash everything before I go, and I'm gonna see what it feels like to just like nobody touch your house for a month. <laughs> like my bed will be unslept in for a month. Okay, I'm putting you on the spot though. Yeah. Right now, are you going to go to like? Make sure you're good, doctors, everything. We before we go, just 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 saying. No, I, I spent I, my last week at the hospital, so I just want to make sure you know nobody else. Look, I spent a week and about to go to the hospital, so I I understand you. So yes, I'm I'm. You know what? The honest, the goodness, truth is, yeah. I've been very diligent about my health lately. I. And I want to say this to my people who watch us do this MVP thing. Like when I first came into this, this comedy world, I used to make a joke where I was like, oh, I'm not here for a good, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Y'all not going to get 15, 20 years of vino. Y'all going to get this strong eight. And right before I blow, that's when I just check out. And I used to be a little joy. I dark humor. I admit, yes, it was foul. It was foul. <laughs> Very like who? But you want to know the fucked up shit is? It's year seven. <laughs> Approach <to> eight. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so that's why. So I've been, but I've been doing very good. Like I will, I will say this: my second year of comedy, I stopped smoking cigarettes and stopped eating McDonald's. So it's it's okay. officially been five years since I've smoked a cigarette or ate McDonald's at least. I've I've eaten other fast yeah. food. But I left McDonald's alone. McDonald's is the top of the list. Okay. I yeah. can't eat it. I, but uh, for the last two years, I've been a more plant-based diet. So I can honestly say for the last Damn. almost two years, a lot more plant-based. I, I only eat meat maybe two, three times a week. Like I'm eating a lot of fruits and vegetables nowadays. And I've begun juicing. I picked up your little trick, Victoria. I just juiced 20 lemons and limes. I got a big ass jar of it in my refrigerator right now. I'm just going to say this because we're, you know, I like to be transparent. You know, last week I just, I spent a lot of time at the hospital and not because of me, because of my 19 year old daughter. Prayers up. Having, Prayers up. Having to have an emergency gallbladder surgery removal. And so from that point on, Anybody I I have any type of conversation with at this point, um, uh, like I'm to the point where go get checked out, get a CT scan, and that be the hard part. Shout out little C bladder. First of all, let me just say that. Shout out little C bladder. Little C but- bladder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Robin. laughs> Shout out little C bladder, but. No, the the crazy part is I I I be wanting to to do the 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 best with with my my health, right? But I feel that as a black man, especially as a black man, when I go to like an emergency room or a doctor, 
it's just inadequate health care. It's like they don't they don't believe you. They don't trust you. They think I'm angling to get pain meds. I try to tell them I smoke weed. Yes. But yeah. I don't like meds. I don't like pain meds. I've I mean, had battles with them before. Like I remember when I was 18 years old with a broken leg, they gave me Viking and I, that shit, that shit had me strung out. I was like, I don't yeah. want this. Huh? This shit. No, that's fine. not what you're supposed to get. But I mean, I mean, shit, I'm, it's the same, even though I understand black men, y'all go through something different. But for black women, it's something for us too. Because the first thing I'm pretty sure the doctor wanted to say, well, is she pregnant? She's throwing up. No. Um, if anything, I was going to have a pregnancy test already in my bathroom. She already can go up there and get that and do that, pee in a little stick and you fine. But I like the hospital we went to because they canceled out everything before they start asking questions. So no this prejudice. is, I understand. Huh? No prejudices. Yeah, yeah it was It was no like, well, are you? And it was like, they could have asked if she's sexually after. They could have asked all these crazy questions and it's like they didn't. So Go to a, a hospital that loves you. That's that's the hard thing. around here because where I live, all the hospitals are Centera. They're all the same network. Exactly. You see that face you just made? You know what I'll go through. You know what I go through. <laughs> that's why I don't even. I just die. I just be upstairs dead. Don't worry. I come back if I if I feel better. I'm not gonna deal with you. I'm I'm not, I'm I'm just gonna, I would be upstairs dead. I'll come back if I feel better. No. So, you know, see, this, you gonna make me fight you on site. That's what I'm. I'm it, it. I know. I, I promise. If I feel better, I'm gonna come back to life. I promise you. <laughs> I promise you. I'm not talking. Yeah. So, take care of yourself, folks. Follow my lead, man. I know. I know. I've been uh. I've been, I'm, I'm, I think it's a sign that I, it's a good thing that I've been taking care of myself. And I, I do want to personally apologize to Red Lobster because I feel like I'm the reason y'all going into bankruptcy right now. Y'all saying it's because y'all gave away too many endless shrimps, Doran. But I know it's because I ain't been there in a little bit. I ain't been off the Cheddar Bay Biscuits. I know the I biscuits. I love the Cheddar Bay Biscuits. And biscuits is big business. Like, I actually learned how to make them because I love them so much. Like, Ooh. I and God rest my grandma, so I love her. But she, once I learned how to make them, every holiday, she was like, you gonna make some more? And I was like, yeah, 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 I got you, I got you. <sighs> my grandma never got no more cheddar bay biscuits from me. Ooh, That's cheddar fucked cheddar up, right? Like, cheddar bay, boy. I'll do some things for you. I said some funny shit the other day, and you know, sometimes I be forgetting the shit I say is, is smoother than shed spread country crock on one of them cheddar bay biscuits. It's smooth. I said, somebody was asking me some stuff and it was like, oh, Vino, have you ever sucked toes before? And I was like, yeah, I suck toes. I, you know, she's like, oh, you, you one of them freaky people. I'm like, look, girl, when that ash been washed properly, that whole body a biscuit. That whole body a biscuit, okay? Any park can okay. get it. Any nook and cranny can get it. Okay? okay. This is one of the moments. <laughs> okay. That whole body of biscuit. This, told, is, this is not where we thought this was going. This look, is I, look, not I, where I, I thought that conversation was going. All I'm saying is take that, take that. <laughs> no, you know what? No more Ciroc for you, young man. Because <laughs> um, clearly. Good, Cause I haven't been drinking a lot, so that these little drinks be having me. No, I'm I'm there. Look, I'm pretty sure I've had the most to drink uh, this evening, just off of a whim, just off of a hey, what you got there? And <laughs> that's so on your story. You said something was spicy. You had a little little wavy. Was that a cucumber in there? Was it was a, a cucumber. When I say my bartender. I like to call him my bartender. I feel like it's personal, but matter of fact, I feel like make sure I made it home. Um, but no, when Taylor makes drinks, I believe that he's my bartender. Like he's for me. Uh, and he had it was it's a drink called a caliente, and it was a habanero infused tequila. 
when I tell you, he opened a bottle and I could smell it. I was like, "That shit that make you." It was. It was. Mmm, habanero infused. The best drink I have had in a very like. It's just the idea that it was spicy. Now, I don't know what that means for the mixture of cookout and habanero-infused tequila. What that might mean for me. But that's also a reason I'm single. Because I like my... <laughs> I don't know what it's going to mean in the morning. But my daughter... Gonna sit in there, though. A real nigga going to sit in there just... He's going to sit there with the glory tear. He's going to be right behind you just holding on. Just... I love this woman. My and, daughter is a real G. She she sit there and be like, mommy. And I'm like, I, it happens. So like I said, I don't know what that combination means. I've never done habanero tequila and cookout together. Like, I think it's going to be a gang war. I just don't know. I mean, how what you had at the cookout. I saw it. A cheeseburger quesadilla, two of them, oh, yeah, and gang. I had some Cajun fries. That's, that's gang bang, yeah. That's like that's they 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 set tripping and the niggas are throwing fingers up. They do. Somebody thought I was gang banging because of how this is set up. I'm like, yo, y'all, but it's dope though. It's dope as fuck. But then I remembered, Dave East is a crip. Yeah. So, <laughs> so this might be a part of that collab. <laughs> uh, I was like, oh shit. Because they gave me all types of wild shit. They gave me something from the, the dispensary they had. Shout out to hey. Cannabis. I, I might be an official sponsor of Cannabis. Um, they yeah, gave you me all like, types of robbing banks. You robbing yeah, banks. I look like I'm out here gangbanging, cuz. Cool. <laughs> you out here with the red. I'm out here with the blue. Hey. <laughs> they tripping on them. Look. <laughs> But, but man, look, your stomach might be in turmoil as of right now. It's gonna be um, fighting like, hey, funny note, because they they're fighting like my favorite my favorite TV show, my mm -hmm. favorite TV show is coming back really soon. What's that? Y'all wouldn't even believe that I am a Game of Thrones House of the Dragon fan. Oh. Like and House of the Dragon is back. And you know what? I'm gonna get HBO some free promo. June 16th. We 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 got our we got that day crawl. That is Father's Day. I actually have two shows in New Jersey that day at the Stress Factory that night with talent. I'm gonna go. I might even just get me a hotel room and just stay there that night. Cause I'll be hopefully I'll be <laughs> up a good weekend with finesse at the punchline. Mm -hmm. I'll just get me a hotel in Jersey and, and watch just, just watch from there. House of Dragons, yeah. House of Dragons, cause, cause I know talent gonna make me work. That that's that, gonna be wow. that's a good watch though. Like that's a good, just. I hope they did like they did the last season of Game of Thrones where they just gave them extended. Yeah, extended I didn't like lengths on the episode. Yeah, no. No, or you just want that solid hour? You don't want like an hour, twenty minutes, hour mm -hmm. and fifteen. Give my. That's it. I didn't know you was a, a Thrones fan. I'm a Throner. Like, I'm not to the fan. Like, okay, for me, I also have to watch it in between Sesame Street and all that other shit. But, but when I can watch it, I'm just like, all right. And this that's my moment. That's me. That's me time. And I'll take it. Yeah. And I'm, I'm admittedly, it took me four tries to get into Game of Thrones. I was dealing with the girl. She's like, you've never watched Thrones? I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, like, you know, no. I sit down with her, try to smoke and watch it a little bit, and then end up messing around. So I never ended up. Then we sit down and watch it again. I ended up knocking the fuck out because I was too high. And then end up getting a phone call. She just couldn't keep my attention. So by the fourth time I tried it, she's like, are you going to really try it this time? Or are you going to? And I was like, all right, I'm going to really watch it. And then when they threw really that movie out the window, uh -huh. I said, "Go to the next episode." And, and when you start to, when you got a binge and you sit there, yeah, 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 no, it it's one of those shows that gets you. It, it's you, you're intrigued by it because you're not thinking this. 
it, it's, it's up there with Bridgerton. It's up there with those things that you're not thinking like, this ain't going to have me like that. And you're like, oh. man. And now you start knowing characters. Now you start feeling things. And you start emotionally getting involved with shows. You, you start making up your own shit. Big Vino, first of his name. Breaker of Ikea furniture. <laughs> <laughs> you really start, like, you really get into it. And that's, sometimes that's why it's hard for me to really get into some shows because I'm like, I don't think my blood pressure can handle me getting into another show. I got one for you. I'm about to fuck your head up. What's you that? about to hate me real quick. Shogun on FX. <laughs> I saw that and I didn't, I was like, hmm. Trust me. I was watching the episode last night. Now I have to go back and watch it all over again because I was, I was like in and out. Cause I was like typing and doing a whole bunch of different graphic and contract yeah. shit, but you got to read though. That's the only problem with this show. Cause it's, it's so yeah. many subtitles, but if you paying attention to what these niggas are saying, you're like, but I like reading because sometimes that's the only stuff I'm reading right now. <laughs> so that's okay. Exactly. So and and it's a whole season, so you can binge the whole first season, mm -hmm. and you can get through it and get to this story. Because from what I got into last night, man, look, hey, now, this is one of the reasons I haven't gotten to the shy yet because of stuff like that. Like I don't, I don't need to be emotionally invested into. Any more show? I can't afford to be emotionally invested in any more shows. <sighs> okay, you I'll know, give it a try. I was, I was there with. I think I was only so invested in Snowfall because I felt like I was there. I felt no, like that I, was that was that was too. Like I was like, I felt like I was there. I felt like I seen that story playing out right in front of me. No, okay. Fun fact. Remember the, the episode? Like it was towards, it was like the beginning of first the first episode when old dude took old dude to the bathroom. He was like, "Hey, yo!" And he took care of him, and he took her. Like, okay, so I watched. I was watching the episode with my ex, who has also spent eighteen years in prison. And when he watched the episode with me, he was like, "I know a nigga done some shit like that." I was like. Is this your way of telling me it's you or is it somebody else? Like, is it is it somebody else there's some or niggas, is it you? There's some niggas out here who will take a man's ass for the set. <laughs> like, and dude walked out confidently like, yeah. yeah. I was like. And that was the same dude that was on all of us on NBC. No. <laughs> my whole life, my whole life. I was like. He could go to family shows from taking men's booty for torture. I when I say I was watching and I was just like, yeah, we we can't watch Snowfall with the kids up because this this is deep, like. Uh -oh. uh -uh. He took that boy booty. Oh my god! I said, oh, he's gonna do it. And, and boys was in there in the living room like they had my face. That is. I, I was like, and the crazy shit is, I seen some monstrous shit in the street. I, I ain't even seen that up close. Like I know there's niggas out. You know, you hear the stories, and you know, you niggas come back and tell you about a wild mission. But I was never there. Yeah. <laughs> I was never. I ain't hear no man in the next room scream. I'm like, mm. Mm -mm. I, I don't think I could take that. Like, and you just sit there like, no. But okay, since we talking about shows, hold on, I gotta. Deviate. Wait, wait. I gotta go this way. Please watch, watch Unlocked, a Jill experiment on Netflix. Please watch this show. I see. I see the previews. I thought it was a <laughs> prank show at first. The way the niggas reacted in the previews on Netflix, they was like, "What you mean you unlocking the door?" You <laughs> But huh, I'm gonna tell y'all one thing, okay? What you mean y'all leaving? What you mean y'all not here? So and it's and but it's all walks of life. It, it's capital murder. It's niggas who's just there on a thousand dollar bond. It's it's all. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm gonna tell y'all one thing: the nigga that got me was tiny. 
Tiny say, and Tiny is a little nigga. Like usually, when we had this discussion, usually tiny niggas aren't necessarily tiny. Tiny yeah. was technically tiny. Tiny looked like he about five seven because you got his whole body in the camera view. So I know, I know he was. So Tiny come out. He go, yeah, you know, uh. Shit, I had a, a pocket knife when I was about eight years old. And little nigga, you know, I want to play football. So I came up to some dudes, like, I want to play football. And they say, nah, man, you too small. He walked away. Tony said, I walked away. And the nigga threw a football at me. And I've been stabbing niggas ever since. <laughs> so, eight years old? Ever since. Ever since. And this is based out of Little Rock, Arkansas. When I tell you, I appreciate it's, you it's like pure. That. It's pure. It's housewives of anything ain't got nothing on this. I appreciate a little nigga who stabbed niggas. Like he was like, I've been stabbing him ever since. And like it was a good show. You had your Uncle Ruckus, who what I, I'm not gonna get from Uncle Ruckus. I'm not gonna say he's Uncle Ruckus. Y'all take it with a grain of salt of what I say. But this specific inmate was very yes I boss it can't boss in it and it gave that but he was cool he was he was a, he was a he was a catch 22 because it was like he gave your yes sir and then we got to do this son da, 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 da. like but his whole mindset was I don't want the doors closed for 23 hours anymore like that's what he was trying to build up and so I get it why he was so kiss assy Look, first of all, the thing I learned about old Negroes <laughs> is they seen worse. Okay. They have seen and that's they have that's seen worse. Yeah. So I'll give him that. He, when, he, they, when they give you that, come on now, I'm trying to get us right because I don't see worse. Yes. He was he was like, I, I don't want them doors closed no more. Like <laughs> <laughs> That was it, and but I, but I, but when you put that perspective in it, I do understand why he was like that. But yeah, so we gotta watch shows, House of Dragon, uh, Unlock. Okay, I'm gonna watch Unlock as I edit this tonight. I'm gonna put it together, and we gonna watch some Unlock. I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have an update for you next week, please, because the first episode I had to stop it until Izzy was gone with her dad. Because one, once Tiny said, I've been stabbing him ever since. And Izzy mocked that. I was like. Shout out to Izzy. That's the. She got a career in drops as far as I'm concerned. Look, when I get back to rapping, after I make it in this comedy shit and then I get back to rapping, I got some drops for her. Look, we got we going to get the paperwork signed. We're going to make sure she taken care of. But. If you don't mind her not perform pr pronouncing her L's correctly yet, I, that she makes it. And that makes it look as a first of all, as a child who had a speech impediment. Yeah. I'm with the shits. What is it? I still got the speech impediment. That's that's why the ladies say they love me. They say it sounds like my tongue heavy, but no. that's neither here nor there. But as a child who had a speech impediment, uh, it's motherfucking. It's 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 endearing to me to hear a child talk it out because eventually it's going to get right and this is going to be a cute ass story later on in life yeah like i mean izzy what was it last week when we had the whole gold bladder situation she was like doctor is my sister going to be okay you going to take out her gold bladder <laughs> and she said it confidently and i was like you just she what she was saying bladder but she batter <laughs> batter gold and batter <laughs> For those who don't know, Izzy's the uh, the the genius voice behind <laughs> our, our, our opening credit. I stand on it like stand that. Stand on business. <laughs> and that's that's what we do here. We we I make sure. I sent that video to my baby daddy, just letting him know what I stand on when it comes to the child support. Send me my money. Send me my goddamn it. Okay. Next. Yeah, that <laughs> personal. That got real personal. You know. <laughs> You know what? Get the money. Look, first of all, I'm 
it's it's a get money time of year, okay? First of all, everybody want their percentage. Everybody want they could. You heard they making they making a TikTok sell, right? They said they got to sell TikTok. A week. They they said you you either sell it or or we ban it in the U.S. And Soldier Boy said he'll buy it, and I'm I'm with it. I think that's the right move. I think oh. he don't got the money enough money, of course. He does like, not so, have that. Soldier Boy, I give Soldier Boy a lot of things. He was the first one to do a lot of things. But you don't got TikTok money, my nigga. You don't have unless he unless unless he has a Diddy contract we don't know about. But that's, that's just here say. I was gonna that's suggest just that you we get Soldier Boy, we get Drake, we get we get uh 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 Bruno Mars. Yeah. We get Taylor Swift. We get all. We get like like twenty of the top hundred artists. Yeah, and Beyonce. Because yeah. y'all the ones making the money off the TikToks anyway. So twenty of the top hundred artists get that, buy it up, and then now y'all printing y'all own money. Oh, y'all printing y'all now. Y'all got enough money to buy it. I don't see why Jay Z hasn't hopped on it though. Because Jay Z don't got enough money. Nobody. TikTok, I'll give it to him. TikTok is definitely worth at least ten billion. You think it's worldwide? It's a worldwide company. A billion Chinese people. Hey. I, I, I'm, I'm, and I'm just ballparking it because I'm no money. I know how to evaluate if something's worth a couple dollars. Trust me. That, that's why she paid me the big bucks. Okay, mm-hmm. I know when people got the money. <laughs> but that's just. I'm gonna say ten billion dollars at least. So okay, hold on. I say I googled the value of TikTok. Mm-hmm. TikTok valuation is estimated to be between twenty billion to a hundred billion. See, I shortchanged that. I I called you short money. I'm sorry, TikTok, but that's because I refuse to do any of your dances. I'm only on TikTok for this. You know, if y'all look at the TikTok, it's a bunch of a bunch of clips of me and Victoria. We. Should- <laughs> we on TikTok. We go. We gonna make it one way or another. If y'all twenty know, billion now, twenty billion. Yes, the, the it's it's a billion Asian people. It's 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 the rest of Europe too, plus America, the whole world. Like that's. I always Damn. break it down to my my fellow comedians and other people in this shit. I I, I give them like a I, I break it down like this. I say on on social media, Facebook is local, Instagram is the United States, TikTok is international. Damn, it would take it would take a couple of billionaires. It's, yeah. it's only a handful of billionaires. Diddy's on that list. Um, to got go ahead and buy a TikTok. And that's why I said you get like twenty of the top hundred artists. You probably gonna have to throw throw some Jay Z money up in there too. Probably fifty. Get a little bit of change up in there. You know, what I'm saying Kim Kardashian. Um, little, little 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 LeBron maybe. LeBron might might could throw a couple dollars in there. Good. Magic, you know, magic, you know what I'm saying? They they start hitting them, you know, put a few HIV recipes on there, HIV uh cures on there. <laughs> I cannot. I... Shout out to the um well not shout out. <laughs> no shout out. Wait, no, no shout said, out. No, I'm sorry, that no, was a wrong no bad choice no. of words. I'll be high, y'all. I keep telling y'all. I'm not, I'm not showing that out. Look, I'll be I'll be I'll be, I be talking before I think. But yo, I I can't even say best wishes or get well soon. So by, what happened is the, at least two women have contracted HIV from getting vampire facials. No, 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 no. This is what I said. I can't even say get well soon. There ain't no well magic, no cure. So you got to talk to him still. Got to so, talk to magic. I talk to magic. Talk to magic. It's a, it's a little magic pill they got out there now that they they can they can keep you from giving it away to other people. So right, and this you about to hit me with you about to get me on my conspiracy theory shit again. You about to give me on my conspiracy. So, right, if you mm-hmm. ever listen to those commercials, you know I'm the nigga who always listens to the 
to the fine print when they yeah, no, definitely, yeah. Do, 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 do. You know those drugs are only for homosexuals, right? Mm, those drugs are only for if say if you were were assigned female at birth, that that medicine is not for you. That shit protects in homosexual contact with with HIV. I didn't know that. Yeah, you gotta listen to the fine print. And I only caught it one day because I was high. I was real high, and I was in like turtle time, so. It felt like the whole world slowed down. I heard, if you were assigned female at birth, this medicine is not for you. I heard that distinctly. I said, hold on. And then I had to let the wheels turn. I'm like, when they say assigned female at birth, that means this medicine only works on men. Heterosexual, yeah. Not even heterosexual. I mean, homosexual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if there are females or men and you're having sex with a woman, that medicine ain't giving her no protection. Yeah. So, i.e., this is only for men protecting against men. Damn. This is this is that's- and they, that's why they that's why I don't listen to them when they tell me to stop smoking weed. Now, because you you I would have never I would have never broke that code if I was if I was sober. I've never. Now you're gonna have me sitting here extra hearing that commercial because i used to like i used to sit there and listen to it and i'm like oh this because this is something that's good this is this is a good thing and now i don't i mean it is a good thing it but just, if it don't work for everybody it's not great i guess it's just like the covid vaccine don't let me get started on that <laughs> that's a whole nother pill i'm not about to swallow right now because no, they like the covid vaccine yeah it don't work for everybody <laughs> so what I'm, debating. Doing, you know? <laughs> I'm, debating. I'm just saying look you can take that pill if you want ladies it ain't gonna do shit it's like it's a so with them at that the, the little vampire facials they just they sol out here look i don't even understand like why do you want a vampire facial why would you want somebody else's blood on and and i guess i can I could be called a hypocrite, if you will, because you know, there's been other bodily fluids on people's faces. Yeah. Why there's other you, mask out there, ladies. <laughs> why would you want blood on your face? But it's 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 mask out there that is good for tightening the skin. Uh but that ain't it. I have never wanted the the level of somebody else's blood. Once <sighs> Okay, I'm not I'm not gonna sit there and lie. Um damn, I don't wanna sit there and say this part. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna turn it into a clip. <laughs> All I'ma say is I've had other things that give me my good skin. And Somebody else's blood, ain't it? That's that's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. That I look, I I get this glow look. I, you know how many women splashed in my face? It ain't nothing new. It's this is grown folks' business at this time. I'm just saying. If it when you get to a certain age and you're still looking youthful, you still you've had more than just soap and water run across your face. Hmm. 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 <laughs> I like to call it essence. <laughs> <laughs> you have the essence. I'm laughing too because <laughs> you ever get them little travel like containers and they come with like labels. So I had that recently when I went to Disney World and I got the little thing where I could put my little soap and lotion and all that stuff in. And it gave me little labels. And I was like, oh, these are cute. And one of them was essence. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Mm. And I just so happened to put, I put coconut oil, peppermint oil, and tea tree oil in this. So mm. what it looked like was, I was like, yeah, that was a creamy uh white substance. But it's good for your hair. It's good. <laughs> it's good for a Vicks vapor rub esque. Yeah, same. But it, yeah, it's a lot of different things. So it was an essence. <laughs> Look. But when you said that, it was like. Now that I'm looking back at the little container, I'm like, mm, 
So yeah. So but hey. Awesome. You don't get this good looking with just regular. I be drinking Ciroc when I'm talking about essence. Um <laughs> take that. No ditty. He's definitely taking that. He's definitely <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. It's just a rough road for him. I'm sorry. They got his little his documentary on Tubi. Once you get your shit on Tubi, it's a wrap, my guy. Hold on, he's a Tubi documentary. He's a Tubi documentary, and it's advertised already. It is. That's crazy. Once you, once you get to Tubi, and your whole documentation of everything already, because they got the OJ shit up too. Diddy, when I say Diddy this died. Diddy Diddy Tubi Diddy. series thing, whatever's going on, is advertised. I haven't. Listen, it's okay. I don't like giving them this glory, but I'm going to go ahead and give it to them. So, TMZ, if you go to TMZ, it's a banner ad of like Diddy, the whatever, whatever. And it's a whole thing. Just saying. He's, he's, it's hard out here for a Diddy. It's hard. I'm like, damn. So when do bars start stop carrying Ciroc? Like, are they going to stop? I think they're going to need that hard conviction before they they stop selling it. I think, I think we're going to need, we're going to need a uh, little Kim to say something before Ciroc. Mm. If little Kim comes out next and says, look. And then what is it? Is Dillion? Dillion? Dillion Dillion. Yeah. I'm, you know what? I never got a chance to drink any of that. I didn't like it. You didn't like it? I never got none of it. I never. I, I awesome. did have some Dillion that one night. I was at Derrick Brooks' show. Mm -hmm. Shout out to homie Derrick Brooks. I'll be doing a show with him again real soon, May 17th. Um, We got him, T. Ray Sanders, myself, mm -hmm. Natasha Face. And you know, Natasha Faith is gonna be doing that same weekend with us at yeah. Peabody's Boss Lady Takeover. Big Vino gonna sit his ass down and let the ladies do their thing. Hey. We we outside, man. Look, we we got a we good run. Look, this valuable podcast. We are booking across the map, too. I'm gonna let y'all know you can get me and Victoria as a package deal for the low, low price of hit my line and find out. Look. <laughs> Uh, Just no, it it takes more than uh low key. We we got some day show, so uh, you know I am happy that we uh are starting to gain a little traction. Like we we really gonna get a little little couple dollars or something. Some I might be able to afford that that brand new used Honda Civic like my homeboys had. <laughs> Give me a brand new used Honda Civic. I look a Honda a Honda keep you trucking for like ever. My first car was a Honda Accord. It was a, uh, it was a doodoo brown Honda Accord. Not a doodoo brown. It was doodoo brown. It was doodoo brown with like the little tan pinstripe on it, and yeah. then it had the tan leather guts with the, with the power moonroof. It had it, it, the AC did not work. The AC didn't work, and before I could even drive it. And my mother told me you can't drive it yet until you get your license, your permit. So where I you lived heard. in Jersey, no, no, no. Where I lived in Jersey, we had alternate side of the street parking. So certain mm -hmm. days you had to move the car across the street. So part of me having this car was I had to move it without driving it. So I had to push this car across the street by myself every day. Like <laughs> I had to push it back and forth across the, the street. Three times a week. That's how I got so strong. That's why I keep telling people I'm big and strong. Like my mother worked me like a fucking farm boy. I'm so I would push this car across the street. Instead of her just coming out and moving the car, she was like, go move the car. And then I would just turn it in, drop it in neutral, and then push. And then push it across the street. And I couldn't, like, the day I got my license and I mm -hmm. finally started up that car, it cut off. <laughs> <laughs> it ran for 15 minutes and then cut off. Same. It ran for 15 minutes and cut off. I had to put it in the shop. I didn't have a car for another three weeks. Damn. So I should have cut okay. the car on in advance and, and then, then 
then figured out, oh yeah, this shit what this shit, okay, it needs a little work. Yeah. And that's just for me not starting it for mad long and pushing it back and forth across the street. So I was like, damn. Damn. But when I got that bitch on the road, we was outside. We was outside, outside. We was in my little car, so we're running back. Broke the axle on that car. Damn. Had that's a crazy pothole on Broad Street in Newark, New Jersey. Just past Market. Broad and Market is infamous in, in Newark, New Jersey, as we used to get all your best bootlegs. Not your bootlegs. Yeah, your best bootleg CDs, DVDs, all that shit. Mm -mm. And I hit that pothole. And that shit said, it sounded like a, it sounded like a breakdown. You knew what was happening I as said, soon as it happened. Shit dead. So we got it back, motherfucker. And he was like, yo, the whole front end is done, man. It's this whole, he like the axle broken, the CV joints bald. I'm like, so how much we talking? And my mm -hmm. mother was like, I'm not putting no more money into that car. You shouldn't either. Da -da 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 -da. You might as well get something new. Mm -hmm. And then that's when I really started selling a lot of drugs. <laughs> hey. Who's my like, I was selling a little bit of drugs at that point, but then I started selling a lot oh of drugs. My... When you're trying to get your money up, ain't nobody really mad at you. Yes. But that's when I started selling a lot of them, though. Like, a lot, a lot. Okay. Yeah. We don't want any incriminating video. We didn't do it. Nope. No, we. I've I've already established that the 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 uh the statue I'm, I'm past it. Yeah, statue of limitations is way past on anything I did. Like I haven't been, and I'm very proud of this. Mm -hmm. So the last time I was actually detained, arrested, put in cuffs, and taken to a facility mm -hmm. was 2013. So I am more than 10 years without having felt handcuffs on myself. Oh, mm. so that that's a that's a whole win right there. Like handcuffs could never feel like, I, like I don't understand how people do it like in a freaky way. I don't see the freaky nature of it. Like I guess once you've had handcuffs in a non freaky way, you just be like, ah, no, nah, nah. you know, give me give me a silk scarf or something. Give me some no. good feeling shit. Don't give me no handcuffs. No, they don't even feel like. This just feels, it feels, I feel Cold. locked up. Like, it feels, they like, you'll never see me wearing something on both wrists. If I'm going to have a watch on one, like, I won't, I purposely, like, people are, oh, put a break. No. Don't do that. I do it because I just feel like it balances. It's my OCD won't let it, but. Mine, my, my PTSD, makes <laughs> my OCD be like, mm -hmm. like, yeah. I'll put a, now I'll put a ring on each, like, not each finger, but. One hand, like one hand, I have a ring. One another one, I have a ring. But I to be both like wrist. No, I don't even wear rings no more because I feel like I'm gonna want to wear a gaudy ass ring. Like, I do. so I used to, <laughs> I used to wear a wedding ring. I used to wear a wedding ring. Why? I just felt like it conveyed, like it's a grown man look on my left hand. It's a wrist watch yeah. and a and a ring. Yeah. And for one, it allowed me to get scandalous women. Like, so back in the day, we used to have women who say, I don't fuck with no man who's single. He got to have something to lose. Something out, yeah. So I'm like, I'm going to hit you with the 52 fake out. You think I'm high or something? You think I just got a ring on? Like, I just don't talk about my wife or you doing something dirty. So it let me know who was scandalous. Damn. But then it also it conveyed like as I moved through the hood, mm -hmm. like I didn't look like a typical drug dealer. I'm I'm a grown man. Like, you see this physique, you see this, and you like and if I got the ring on like this, I'm sitting like this, you, right. you see the ring, you're like, you're not thinking, oh, there's some hooligan out on the street, some little young nigga causing problems. You think he's said, mature, he man. Got yeah, he got stuff he got here. something to go home to, yeah. So I I wore a wedding ring, but then I stopped wearing the wedding ring. And I wanted something gaudy. So I had a big ass, my birthstone is the diamond. Oh, so, so I had you a this. big ass diamond on my ring. So now I look like a drug dealer. Say, <laughs> no, I was attracted to the idea of looking like a pimp and I didn't know it. So my great uncle, love him to pieces. He used to rock and he still does. Well, no, nah, not so much, but he rocks. 
a watch and a pinky ring. Mm -hmm. And growing up, I always, I was like, oh my God, I want that. So to this day, and I, I tripped, I laughed this, uh, today when I was getting ready and I was like, and I put on a pinky ring and, and my watch and I was like, yeah, that's it. Not knowing he used to be a pimp back in his day after uh, Vietnam War and all these things he deal, dealt with. He was actual pimp and that was his whole get up. So yes, yeah, so when I rock a pinky ring, that is my my nod to my my great uncle who is still kicking and rocking. So I'm about to break out my pinky rings. I have some as an old pimp, but I just never wear them no more because it takes me to a cold place. I put it on, I'll be like, ah, man, I just want to smash it. <laughs> it just put this in like oh back bitch, I told you back up. <laughs> <laughs> like, did you just smack me? <laughs> hold on, real quick. Hold on. Shout out to my uncle. E. I had to put the ring on. I found it. It was like right there. So yeah, when y'all see this, this is this is the old pimp that I used to admire. It's, yeah, it's the... It's the... And that's how. And then look, he had his Corvette. So that's the. That's why I hold the mic with this hand, so that you can see. And I was thinking about getting back to the ring. Because you see the mic, you see the ring with when you hold it, you like boom, boom, boom. And that's it. That's it. Look. Oh my. I have to get this new sweatshirt made for the road. Cause okay. um so I've been trying to do it for like the last four years now. Mm -hmm. So I got my, you know, my little traditional comedic therapy sweatshirt that I wear on the on the on the road and on stage. Mm -hmm. But I've been trying to get it in this pink color. And it's always out of stock, discontinued. Something went mm. wrong. And I've been trying to do it for breast cancer awareness. I've been trying to do it for Mother's Day, International Women's Month. I just, a pink sweater. I feel like a pink sweater. It would be, yeah. Be a little dope. Let the ladies know, hey, look, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm working on not, because I was one of them niggas like blacks and gray, black and gray, black and yeah. gray all day. If you see me in the street, black and gray. It wasn't a lot of colors because I didn't nah. like the. I didn't like the, I, I wanted to blend into the street. It kind of came with me into comedy, but now I'm in this place where it's like, so now a lot of times you'll see me wearing a red or a blue, but mm -hmm. I want to get more colors because like, I know I look good in red and look good in blue, but I want to see what other colors I could really look good in. Right. Like this bakery shit right here, this shit, like. I look black, yeah. It look no, good. It I, got good. A, I got a little blue joint too. I ain't break out yet. Got the leather patches on the elbows. I ain't. Cause the day I wanted to wear it for the show, it was hot. It was too too hot. Too hot. It was yeah. too hot. It was too hot for this. If yeah. I would have sweated this out. Yeah. So I had to, you know, call an audible, but I've just been trying to, I've been trying to at the end of the day, and I'm gonna say this, folks, in all sincerity. Mm. Um I used to be insecure. I used to not know how handsome I really was. And I'm I'm coming into a a, a right right now where I'm like, yeah. okay, I'm feeling good about myself. And what I'm feeling about myself is being validated in mm -hmm. certain circles. Okay. You know, I got I got the Hollywood types, no Diddy. No, Diddy. No, I Diddy. got the Hollywood types though. Like, yo, you have a good look for such and such and such and such, and you know they're asking the questions. No, I'm not gonna shave the beard. I mean, I imagine what it looked like without the beard, but no, I'm not gonna shave. It. I don't want to see that. No, My beard comes in too nice to motherfucking not oh, have it. Uh, uh, okay, no. It, it, it was because I could even <laughs> take it down a little bit, but I couldn't. I would never take it all the way off. Yeah. No, I, I unless it's absolutely like the ten million dollars. Coinage, doing it. Ten million dollars. Yeah, like that's a different ball game. But if it's not, if it's not that, like I would, like I, I have, like I said, I, I've seen people cut their hair, their locks, their everything for less. So it, I get it, but. Mm -mm. I feel like why would you want me to cut the beard anyway? Like there ain't a role where this would not come in handy. Yeah. Like, real talk. I'm I'm trying to I'm I'm still in conversations with Peacock and Bel Air. Y'all need to get rid of that Uncle Phil and make me the new Uncle Phil. Because how y'all gonna have a skinny Uncle Phil? I'm still uh, asking yeah, that. This, 
I know we're about to approach the third and fourth seasons and shit, but how you got to – James Avery is turning over in his grave. So, is it skinny, skinny Uncle Phil? I, but I like this Uncle Phil. I'm not going to lie. I, I like him. He does. Are we, are we getting more seasons? Because that – Yeah. Ever since the slap, I ain't – no, no. Uh, there was a season after the slap. Yeah, yeah. There, there was a season. There was a, there, there's I definitely more better. seasons coming. I, it needs to be because that was that's a good show. That was that's, that's a, a very good show. Good show. But I just think about this though. All the shit that this skinny Uncle Phil doing, right? How yeah. much more boss would it be if he was a big nigga? Yeah, it, it would be more impact. When he was, right when now, he was I don't stepping with him. the cues and shit. Yeah. Like, imagine if it was a big nigga stepping like that. But see, okay. I just the only thing about it is I, I, he's he's along the lines of I will say this: this Uncle Phil is I don't take him as serious. Like it's like he's too mm-hmm. small. He's not intimidating. He don't have no. It's nothing. You don't got in, no. Yeah, don't say it. Don't say like James Avery. Even for him to be a big homosexual nigga. It's something that was that was big and intimidating and powerful about him. Like we we know he was a homosexual. We know he was gay. We know. That's but fact. when he yeah. And I'm just finding out that that Carl Winslow is gay. Matter of fact, let me drink some more Syrah because I just found out Diddy might have hit up hit up Carl Winslow. So we don't know how much longer we're gonna be able to drink Syrah. So y'all better get y'all Syrah while you can. At this point, just turn off the just turn off TV. Just sit in your box. When they said when they said Carl Winslow was in the room getting 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 the business from Diddy allegedly allegedly all the alleged but all I could hear all I could hear was Urkel saying oh big fella no did I do that <laughs> big fella what's going on big fella what's got you down big fella did I do that. Jesus, mm-hmm. like that's 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 an image I can't unsee. But okay, if we're gonna get off of that, because my mind is going so dark and so wrong. We're okay, one question, one Phil. question, one question before we get off the dark shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> give me one name you think that Diddy got to that would like it would either have you like completely shocked or it's like I knew it. Mm. Ugh. That I would be shocked or I knew it. Either way. Matter of fact, let's go with I knew it. I, I knew, knew it. it. Um if they dropped a name. I don't I'ma say, damn, who do I think he would have just um, shit. Well, since we talking about Urkel Jaleel White, you think you would have known he did Jaleel White? Did I do that? Like, <laughs> I'm gonna tell I you. Mean, he he snatched up Bieber little ass. So <laughs> this is this is what I'm saying, and this is what. This is why mine is about to fuck your head up. And it's all about to connect the dots. Okay. Tupac Shakur. I feel like that's what really all the beef was about. Tupac caught a whiff of some shit. And something happened that was sideways. He tried to talk to Biggie about it. Like, yo, that's your man's? Hmm. And mm-hmm. then that's when it became the full on assault of bad boy. You know what? I'm just saying, the weed lets you know. The weed lets you know. That's I've been a- thinking about this ever since the news broke. Give me my Ciroc. What the get, where's my drink at? If you talk about a mind fuck, that's a mind fuck. But you know what? Hold up. I'm gonna take it. A- that's why he said, first off, fuck your click. Fuck your set and the click you claim. claim. I can't unsee that. 
look, I'm just, I just be connecting the dots. I just, I've asked the universe, I pour the Ciroc and asked the universe to speak to me. I can't unsee it because I'm gonna tell you this too. So I saw a video that was kind of disturbing. And I'm I'm hoping AI recreated this interview, but it was a young Tupac. And it was the one he had the black tank. So I've seen this, uh, clips of this different interview, but this clip specifically was him talking about his mommy. And he was just like, yeah, my mommy. And he was doing like this. And it was a lot of, it, it, Say it ain't so. Say I it. don't know. Between AI and everything, I don't know what to trust right now. I don't know. I had a chick send me a titty picture. I sent it back. I didn't know. It could, this could not be the titty that you really got. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is it bad that I don't even want women to send me videos and pictures no more? If anything, I want to be there when you record it so I can authenticate it. I mean, then you can send it to me. <laughs> hey, Niggas, you're right. Yeah. Niggas yeah. Yeah. start putting shit on oh what is it like like ransom notes <laughs> I, I want the newspaper in there <laughs> like yeah <laughs> I need today's newspaper you gotta authenticate that this is actual material this is this is what we're getting into Look, <laughs> it will not catch want, me off guard I promise I will not I can let y'all know this safely in there. yeah and and the newspaper that marks that day and you gotta go find it like you gotta so now TD predictions have become a whole prediction already. So now it's got to be a whole proof that these are certified. Like, <laughs> look, I need to know that those is authentic, grade A, unprocessed organic meat. No fillers, no <laughs> substitutes, no preservatives. <laughs> <laughs> Man, oh man. It's a wild world out here. It's wild. Victoria. <laughs> look what you up to, Victoria. Don't let the world know what we got going on, man. Because you got a lot going on. It, I, it, know, I was there. You, <laughs> look, uh, so, of course, every Wednesday, except for last Wednesday, don't mind, or Wednesday before. The Wednesday that my daughter got her goal, let's take it out. That was, that was the only Wednesday we didn't do. But every Wednesday at Haymaker, it's a 9.30, 10.30 showtime. And and we're there every Wednesday. Uh, I've been in the works, people trying to get me to do a, a showcase there. But the way it's set up, I might be doing one. So I don't know. It connects. You, you are making connects, ma'am. You might as mm -hmm. well do it. Embrace this shit. Be a part of be a part of your your own success. <laughs> I guess it's the way I'm set up though. Um, and then we got May nineteenth for sure. Peabody, you know, celebrating the mommies, celebrating the mommies and the boss ladies and the boss ladies. Can't wait. Uh, and I'm I'm excited about that. Um, and then I don't know. <laughs> I'm I'm a, I'm 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 gonna let y'all know everything. I want to know all of it. <laughs> we she got June 9th down in North Carolina. We got a brunch mm -hmm. Sunday, June 9th, and then we got something uh in in Fourth of July weekend. Yes, we got Fourth of July weekend. Uh, we're gonna be doing some things out here in Virginia Beach at Levels in Norfolk. Uh. Might be some surprise appearances at a few of these shows. I'm back on the road with them, um, with Coco and Finesse. So those dates will be coming soon. Uh, Richmond, Mother's Day weekend. Man, that, that one's going to be big. Yes. Mother's Day weekend, Coco Brown, Richmond, Virginia. Y'all go get y'all tickets now. I want to see everybody in the house because I got special gifts for all the mothers in the building. I'm going to be in rare form, and I'm going to do something real nice for all the mothers who show up. And you gotta have your kids there if you want. If you really want to, you... <laughs> look. If you talking about free babysitter, I'm out, boy. Uh. <laughs> but no, Mother's Day weekend, May uh tenth, eleventh, and twelfth. Mm -hmm. Two shows Friday, two shows Saturday. One big crazy ass show Sunday, Mother's Day. Um, then 
May 17th, uh, like I said, I'll be in Hampton, Virginia. Derek Brooks, uh, DAB Productions. You got T. Ray Sanders, myself, Natasha Face. Uh, we got some Friday night jokes. And then that weekend, May 19th, we got the Boss Lady Takeover at Peabody's Comedy Brunch, hosted by myself and Victoria Said It, the most valuable podcast. Uh, mm -hmm. Natasha Face will be closing that show out. We got Christine the Comedy Cougar pulling up. Shout out to Christine. She the one who makes sure we get all this fly bakery shit. Mm -hmm. Man, shout out to the Kruger. We ain't seen her. We ain't all been on the same stage since uh, the improv oh, in D.C. Man, it's going to be a hell of a reunion. It's it's gonna be great though. We'll have yeah. a hell of a time. Um, hey. you can catch me in back in DC in June at the Comedy Loft with with Coco. Um, I got some things coming up in Jersey early June. I will be in the road with my good man CJ Cracks, my brother, my family. This is this is my real family. This is my 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 uh stepfather's cousin. My stepfather, who did life in prison and got out, he did life and got out. The nigga did 25 years and plus and then got out. So he did oh, life man. in prison and then got out. That his cousin, he called me, said, Cuz, you know, it's a family thing, baby. I got a show. Let's do it. So I said, Bet. So I'm going to go back to New Jersey and do a fucking show. June nice. 2nd, check me out there. Um, like I said, we're going to be all over the place, man. Keep your eyes open. Please. And your head on a swivel because we are all over the place with this comedy thing. Most valuable podcast taking over. And I want to let y'all know a lot of y'all be in my messages and y'all talk shit. Of course. All I want to say is if you're going to talk shit, talk shit proper. Do it in the comments so that everybody else can see that shit too. Don't mm -hmm. message me directly so that I'm the only one who see your bullshit. Leave it in the comments. We're trying to cause controversy out this bitch. Look, it looks it looks good on the algorithm. Yeah, it works. looks like interactions. Don't be don't be sitting here sending me personal messages about things I said on this podcast. Yes, I said it. I stand on business. Victoria said it, so that Victoria said it, and I stand on business. I what, yes. What more could you want? Else, but look, y'all. Y'all always can fuck with us, man. We love each and every one of y'all. Even the ones that hate us a little bit, man. And I want to say, keep hating. Eat some popcorn. The popcorn makes the hate feel more intense. <laughs> Look, y'all. I'm Big Vino. I'm Victoria Said It. And uh, it's been another episode of the Most Valuable Podcast, man. Of Thank y'all for tuning in. Tap in. On all platforms. Y'all know the names. Hit niggas with, with, with a little cash app if you want to. That'd be lovely. Hey. And remember, smoke weed when you wake up. You get your day high hopes. Peace. <laughs> I stay in my business.